old path, probably first used by smugglers back in the early days. To avoid the rising tides. Can you help? Well, as legend have it, not too many people know about this path. Only those that walk it. It's a lovely path, avoids all the emmets and other weird wildlife that you found down on the gunnel. It doesn't take you far. Probably only about a third of a mile long, really. But some spectacular scenery awaits at the end. I recommend a good sturdy pair of walking boots. <laughs> oh, on a dry day, a pair of trainers will suffice. I wouldn't come down here in your flip flops. In fact, I'd throw your flip flops over there right now. Quite a romantic little path if you want to come along and stop it through kissing gates. I think there's three kissing gates here. One. Oh. One. Observe all signage. When in the Cornish countryside. Or well, your dog might eat someone's picnic from Southern. Charlie's land. And I'll put my house on there one day. <laughs> there, look at Lovely, lovely. On a day like this, you couldn't wish for much better. Only to be a dog. Or a dog, as my old pikey granddad used to say. Kissing gate number two. Somebody looks after it. Sorry, dog. Come on. To a beautiful, picturesque piece of woodland by the riverside. Millionaire's paradise. Or it was back in the 17th century when everyone had a million. Just above worlds for you dog, there you see a bit of woodland, a bit of beach. Probably recommend it. If you got an hour to spare, take the pinball path and carry on to the bogey with the Albion or Grandock. We're just letting you know the pinball path is open for business. Someone's been living there. Some poor bleeder's been living in the hedge on the pinball path. With a Lithuanian fly tipping. I want you to step round here if you're a bit of the aged. Your boots might be a bit slippery. Bring your walking sticks. I know you love them. Be plenty of blackberries along here in September time too. Quite a bucket load of them there will be. Look at that, five minutes in and not a single limit. Traces of deer. Oh, 
more splendid scenery from the coast of Cornwall? That's my house over there. It is over there. Over there. Over there. Over that one. Anyway, back to the park. Not much space for a picnic along the path, really, if you want to stop, because it's just a one-person white truck, really. But then I'm not seeing much traffic. You probably could sit down anyway, like. That was how much of a pasty. Picking the scenery. Oh yeah, that's the fire station up there. There's the football pitch. There's the water. Oh, look out, wild dogs. A bit of fern. So yes, as I was saying, smugglers, smugglers back in the day, there's this path. Well, the tide was high. They carry their booty back to the ship, back to the land, whichever way they were going. Many a tale can be told about this path. If only I knew a fool. The only ones I can tell you are about me and my dogs. I don't know where any of the treasure is. There's a perfect picnic spot, actually. You're right there, I mean, make a lovely picnic spot out there, yeah. A few trees there, a bit of clearing, a bit of beating, pushing. Oh, yeah. Prince Charlie, who won't mind, won't you? Prince Charlie, you won't mind, will you, Prince Charlie? Prince Charlie must have known a thing or two about smuggling, I reckon. If he's got a path smuggling going right through his land here, he's probably done a bit of smuggling himself somewhere along the line. Uh, this one's this is probably the trickiest bit of the path here. It sort of rounds down and up to the left and down to the right, it's sort of like an old riverbed winding up. For you older folks, it might be a bit tricky, but if you're in, don't come on your own. Bring a friend so they can help you up. Oh, and just ogle at all the blackberries about to bounty film the booties. Oh, blackberry pudding's a go go. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, in the winter time, this is this up. There's a lot of water runs down here through here. So if you come in the winter time, be careful. This is all very overgrown as well. Oh, it's just worth it though to see the smile on the dog's faces in it. And then another lovely little bit of thicket. Yeah, lovely bit of thicket. I don't know why Grand Designs haven't been in here and made something grand. I wish I had some money, I'd make something around it. I'd knock a few trees down though, that'd be... I'd replant a few more though. I'd plant more than I took down. It's probably one of the most beautiful parts of the country, I reckon. There's some... Does anybody have big old uh, Barclays Bank tube slides? Slide all the way down there into the gunnel, that'd be lovely on a hot summer's day. That'd be lovely on a hot winter's day when there's no fucking people about. This bit's a bit tricky. This is where you want to have your downhill 4x4 boots on, really. This is why I recommend good pair of walking boots. Because, uh, slippery trainers like what I got on might not take it. This is where I recommend you let go of your dog lead, because your dog might pull you down the hill. I don't know how long it takes to get an hour of ambulance out here, but I reckon it won't be too long. But uh, yeah, if you get one of them rocks on your head, you reckon we had it. Some BMX berms there, the young kids have been having it. They've been having it on their BMXs there. I'll 
sitting on it, I'll explain it. Oh, yeah, we're coming at the end of the pinpole path now. We're just coming at the final rise and the final kissing gate. The end of this small, short, fascinating, mystical, memoryful path of merriment and smuggling. Don't forget the smuggling. I just smuggled four pack Guinness down here and I'm going to have them at the end of the beach. Hmm. So just be careful out there on your rambles. Only follow the paths that are there you can have. Permissive land ones. Never kiss your dog at the gate. Have you seen this helicopter? There's only a drone, there'll probably be another one. And then the final few steps down. And out. Oot. Oot on the pinball path in 11 minutes and 45 seconds. That's not a bad walk. I was going quite fast as well. I mean, you can go as slow as you like. You can take all day if you like, but it comes out. You'll go in over there. Right about there. And you come out. Right about there. Into this. And if the tide was out, there'd be a good pop, but the tide's in, so I'd have to go home. Wookie Wambles.